Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a cheap, cost-effective brake upgrade for your 2012 to 2018 Focus ST. First thing you're going to have to do is get calipers. Now, you're going to need 2005 to 2008.5 Mazda 5 calipers from minivan. Ones like this. Now these cost about $75 to $120 at the dealership. But I got these at a junkyard for six. The next thing you're going to need, which just showed up, are these rotors. These are from a 2008 till 2010 Volvo V70. Six months later. Uh, for these torques holding in your caliper, you need a uh, T45 Torx. I already have it on here. In typical Ford fashion, you see my ratchet here. Yeah, it doesn't really uh, line up. I gotta grease this. Okay, so it's a 15 up here, 13 up here. Uh, turn both ways, just loosen this up. That hardware looks great. <laughs> All right. All right, we gotta spray that with something. She don't wanna go. Okay. Let's try it again. Right, well, we have another option. What? Taking the upper nut off instead. I like that option. In a typical rust belt fashion, the fairly new sway bar end link snapped. Luckily enough, I had a spare one sitting around, which fix the problem. The other side to show you what to do. So what you're going to want to do is again take your T45 and take out these torques and for our brake support bracket here it's held in by a 14 millimeter so let's get to it. What are you doing here? Killing ass. I don't know if I'm killing them. I don't think it's doing it. Push it out it goes back in. Yeah we got to take the ratchet out. There you go. Gotta get the ratchet out of it. Hmm. Why is this one stuck on here? Okay. Now to put your Volvo rotor on and bring out your Mazda 5 bracket your Volvo rotor on, uh, take two of your wheel lugs that I'm taking off here and put them uh, flat down Ow. and me. then it will hold itself for the bracket. You got an ant in my shirt. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Woo, she's done. Oh yeah, she's done. Where? And not a drop to drink. <laughs> Here? Yeah. Maybe we brought it home? Okay. A little bit of grease where it slides. Not too much. If you put too much, it'll splash over on your pads. Your little spring in the pad there. It comes with the hardware. The back one doesn't slide at all. Like... Future me in editing, if you are to remove it like that, you won't have an e-brake, so you're just gonna pop that little piece of plastic back in, and that bolt is a seven millimeter. So, just, you know, save yourself from rolling down a hill. Go. With the rear calipers, there's a, a screw-in piston. So you gotta physically turn it back in. So you can't just use a C-clamp? Nope, they have to be turned. 
Well, what it does is it work. It's because of the emergency brake. Because the emergency brake is integrated. If the braking bias is improved, wouldn't that mean the pat the rotors would wear more equally? Person to push the brake pedal, and the other person uh, spins the rotor. First of all, you know, make sure everything's working. Second of all, the caliper will adjust itself. At this point, I'm just gonna put my stabilizer bars back together, get this whole car together and hopefully I will have a nice new rear rotors. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, cheap performance upgrade. Don't forget to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe.